Hi, everybody. It's Briar Harvey. This is another episode of Systems Are Messy, and I am here with the lovely Jamie Warren. Jamie, tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Jamie Warren. I'm based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I have multiple different facets of my life, but for this podcast, um, one of the things that I do is oversee part of a cardiology service line for a healthcare organization. And then what I really, really love is actually the fitness side where I teach um, hip hop cardio and a boot camp type philosophy. <laughs> Ooh, well, that's fun. I like it. Okay. So let's dive right in. How do you keep track of all of that stuff? So my life is 100% planned out by a schedule. Everything is on a calendar, usually down to, you know, 30 minute segments. Everything is highly, I'm a very type A, your typical OCD type person that has everything pretty much laid out. Um, that being said, I also work in a job where um, I say the saying a lot, you know, man plans, God laughs, because first thing in the morning, everything that you plan may get, blown, you know, totally blown out of the, out of the way, because that's, that's how healthcare works. So what I typically do is, is I have a, a list of items that I know need to be completed in that day. Um, that's where I'll keep that in that to, to, to do is software program. And it makes it a little bit more flexible that I say, these are the three to five things that have to be done today. Um, but I have the flexibility to do it throughout the day. So when that schedule adjusts, I can take care of that. Cool. So let's go ahead and take a look and show us around your system. Okay. So I'm going to turn me back around. Is that okay? Okay. Let's do it. It'll make us dizzy. Hold on just a second. <laughs> So just for today, just primarily focus on, on the to do to, to, I cannot spit that out, to do is, you got to take the L out. Uh, this is where I use a lot of things for both personal business and also with all of the fitness type related items that I do. Um, I am able in essence to make a very quick checklist and this is where I can date it. I can assign it to certain colors to flag it. I can do projects. Um, there is a free version of this. You can pay for the upgrade. Free version is great, though. You are able to access this from your any computer and as long as you have internet, and you can also have it on your device. So it's super easy. Yeah, the apps are pretty functional, I find, relative to a lot of different project management services. So Todoist is great on app. It is. Uh, the thing that I really, really like about this is that you're able to attach really any type of file inside of this. So it makes life a lot easier if you need to print something out, a Word document, Excel, videos, pictures, whatever. You can save all of that in here. Let me see if I can find one that's kind of got a lot of notes to it. Um, so like this one has lots of notes. Oh, sorry. That's okay. okay. There we go. Well, we lost each other. So I can go in and make individual notes inside of the task. And then when you're done with that note, you can even edit it or delete it, or you can even add stickers if you want to. But um, it just is an easy way to really break down specific tasks. You can make them as big or as little as you want. It's pretty robust. For, for as user-friendly and, and easy as it is up front, it, it does have a lot of pieces to it in the back end. Well, that's fantastic. So. With all of this on your plate, how often do things slip through the cracks? Um, I mean, they still slip through the cracks. I mean, it just is. Uh, I will tell you the important things always float back up to the top, so it, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, us as people, I think that there are routine things that we do anyways. I mean, I think the important things, we keep it up, and the small things are usually what slips through the cracks. Uh, this is great because it, it, I'm one of those people that believes that we should not be trying to remember everything in our brains. So this being on my phone, as soon as I think of something, I just, I, I type it right in. You capture or, it immediately. I, yeah, I that's. It immediately. And, and even if it's just like three or four words to get wherever I am and then I can add more information, but it, you know, especially like if you're on a conference call or if you're in a meeting or whatever, it's very nice that you can just bam, 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 here's five things that I need to take away from this meeting. And then you're less likely to lose that because you're not trying to just remember it. Yeah, I definitely think capture is an important thing to do, regardless of the system you are using. Yeah. <laughs> Regular, consistent capture makes a real difference. So how do you review or process? 
so I probably do something that most people say don't do, but I usually hit the ground running. So first thing in the morning, I get up, um, get my day going, get dressed, and I'm immediately in my to-do list. I, that's where I go. It's first thing I do, I look and I say, okay, these are the three or four things that are my must-haves that have to be done today. And then I'll look at my calendar um, and look and see what meetings are scheduled and what location that I need to be in. And then I'll start on email because usually that's where if there's an emergency going on or if I need to re, you know, reevaluate. So I, mine is usually right out of the gate. I, I, <laughs> so first thing in the morning, do you do any weekly or long-term reviewing or processing? So I have a philosophy that as soon as something comes in to me, it has to be taken care of. So whether that means it's an immediate thing that I can turn around and respond, if it's something I need to put on my calendar for a future date, um, if it's something that needs to be broken down into tasks, I, I immediately take care of it. Um, you know, that doesn't always happen, but that's goal. And so at the end of the day, I, I usually am cleaning up miscellaneous things that I could get through the day. Um, and, and so then there, I don't really have an end of the week recapture because I've been doing all you've of you've been doing it the long. whole time. So how long would you guess that your beginning of the day stuff and the end of day stuff takes? Um, you know, it depends on the day. I would say that, that I, now that the system is really in place and it's easy to do, I would say it probably takes me about 15, 20 minutes in the morning just to make sure there's no fires going on. And then end of the day, it really just depends on how many emails are sitting in my box that need to be processed. So I think no more than an hour though. I mean, cause some days it's really quick and, and then other days, sometimes you have to sit and kind of process, but maybe 30, 45 minutes at the end of the day. Not bad. Not bad. So what do you wish you could do better? Um, I, and I, I don't, mm, there's external forces that go into this. I would really like to be able to carve out dedicated time, uninterrupted dedicated time. I don't think that's a possibility in my current role. Um, it is sometimes hard to shift gears quickly. So if you're really like trying to do some research and get in and then all of a sudden you've got someone standing outside your door, um, that would be something I'd like to do better is be able to find that dedicated time. So, how about what you do well when it comes to planning? What's, what do you think you do better than most people? Uh, I'm an organizational queen. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I like to take chaos and turning, turn it into some sort of an organizational that I like that part of it. Um, I do well with scheduling. My, my kids would tell you that I've scheduled them. They are, we, we are a scheduled family. So I would say that that's probably things I do well. <laughs> So what about, is there anything special you're working on right now? Um, so work is always a, a lots of fun stuff. I work in cardiology. Um, I love what I do, but like I said, my love is really more on the fitness side. And so I have been developing some online programs for um, what I call our Get Fit Ladies. Uh, I have a free accountability group for women, and it's a place for us to think about our body, our, you know, nutrition, workouts, and then also mindset. So that's kind of been my, my love here lately is, is working with the ladies to be able to kind of get us into a happy spot. Well, that's cool. So how do we find out more about that? So you can search for get fit one word, get fit peeps. Um, you can join again. It's free. Uh, and it, it's a daily challenge. It's just really something to kind of get us going and thinking. Um, I'm, my biggest thing is, is I, I try to work with women to rediscover their spark. That's kind of a little tag. Uh, I feel like sometimes we lose ourselves, especially with the busyness of the day. And it's important that, you know, our cup doesn't get empty. And so even if it's just five minutes a day that we take that dedicated time for us, that's the, kind of the purpose of what I'm trying to bring forth to all of us women. I love it. I love it. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Um. I think that's, that's kind of about it, how we, how I take care of, you know, scheduling and those types of things. Um, I would say go check out Get Fit Peeps. It's a great group. It's a great tribe of women. Um, we work very hard to find our happiness and joy every single day. So, 
Well, Jamie, thank you so much. This has been fantastic. And I loved taking a peek at your list. <laughs> Have a great day, y'all. We'll talk to you later. Bye.